Hi guys. So it is a Sunday, December 19th. And I just wanted to update something with you guys. Um, but uh, anyways, it's basically a chemical pregnancy. Um, if you don't know what that is, just Google it or watch chemical pregnancies on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of women that goes through it. Um, but first off, I just wanted to say, like, please don't watch this video if you don't want to hear anything about my body and like fertility and all that stuff because it's a lot of it's TMI like seriously so if you don't want to hear anything about me my body and everything log out don't watch this it's for you know woman who has uh, been through this or in their fertility journey like this fine with me um, but yeah if you're my friends relatives or just don't watch this if you don't want to hear anything about my body parts and stuff like that because it's a lot of TMI. I just want to put it out there because this is my fertility journey story. So I just wanted to update that with you guys. Um, anyways, so here we go. Thanks for watching. By the way, this is what I'm taking now. Hopefully it works this time. And I have an appointment on Monday. Um, today is already Sunday, so tomorrow actually. Anyways, to check my progesterone level because my doctor thinks if it's low, um, that would be the reason why the baby isn't sticking to me. So hopefully, um, if it is low, then I will get a progesterone shot tomorrow. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I hope everybody's doing well and everyone's getting pregnant and <sighs> baby that's to all hey guys so today is the 27th um i've had runny nose since the night of thanksgiving I don't know what's wrong with me, and I've been sneezing so much. I think I'm getting a cold, but I'm 5 TPO today. I took a test uh, yesterday because I'm like, maybe I ovulated really early, but I don't know. I don't feel good. I'm congested. I'm constipated. <sighs> My nipples have been hurting since... Ovulation day, I think, or one TPO. I have to look at my notes, but I do have notes just because if I am pregnant, then I would want to share all my symptoms. I know I didn't implant yet, but um, something to do with progesterone level rising, so I just wanted to like um, keep that on my notes so I can read that for you guys. But I I took GP again today a GP test from Amazon, uh, but it's negative. Um, I know I said I wasn't gonna take any tests till seventy PO this month, so I don't stress myself. I'm really not stressed out. It's just because I, I my my nipples have been hurting, <laughs> and I don't feel good. So I don't know, like. I'm not myself, and my breast doesn't really hurt until the day before, like, literally that night, or, like, the day before I get my period, like, at night, and then the next day I would bleed, so, like, I'm just saying, this is different for me, because I don't hurt two weeks before my period. I mean, my cycles are all over the place, but last month... Um, when I found my ovulation day, it was, like, perfect. Like, I got my period of the 14th day. So, because I found my ovulation on, I think, cycle day 15, then it automatically just adds 14 days. So, we'll see. Um, 
Alright, I just wanted to update that with you guys. So, it's 11 DPO, 6 in the morning. So this morning, my temperature was 90.2, and yesterday was 98.3, and the day before was 98.3. So, I mean, I was hoping it was going to be a really um, big difference this morning, but it's not that much of a difference. I'll get my period in three days, so I hope I won't. I hope I won't get my period in three days. I mean, don't give up right until Aunt Flo shows, so. See you guys later. I think I see a line, okay? Because I showed you guys this morning at six something, it was negative, there's like nothing. And then we came home from winter and wonderland around 10. I think I see a faint line. Will doesn't see it, the girls don't see it. And then I waited for an, almost two, an hour and a half and I took another one. I see an effing line. Nobody believes me. But I swear, I mean, I don't, I know these things don't get faint, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't like the blue ones or the, the um, first response just because it does. I've had bad experience with those. You saw my video, um, my last videos. I swear I see it. Here, let me show you. Right there. Okay, so I took this this morning. There's nothing. I took this when we came home. And then I took this just now because I'm like, maybe it is just an evap. I swear it's right there. Can you guys see the shadows? Look, look. Sorry, my fingers are dry here in Arizona, but do you guys see that? <clears throat> I see it. It's like right there. I don't. <sighs> and I'm 11 today. Are you playing or not? Dad, do you see it? No. <gasps> I see it. I swear it's there. Guys. Okay, this is like.
no flash right now it's so effin like it's very faint but i was very emotional this morning crying about i didn't get a positive and i'm done and I know I didn't like, I don't like first response, honestly, but a lot of people still trust this, and, you know, I can always give it another chance, and I like this because it has the yes and no. It has three different ones, and this one. So I just used the early detect shin one and then tomorrow i'll use this or maybe tonight so i was holding my key for since three and it's already seven so that's like four hours and my temperature went up again so oh my God. i've been using these like seriously you couldn't even see it like I couldn't really see it, but I know like it's an, I'm like, there's no way it's an evap because I've never seen an evap on those before. These I did, but I just want to use it. All right, here we go. If it's one of those, I, I know how it looks when it's not positive. Because I've experienced it so many times, so I, I just don't want my heart to be broken again. But if it's like the faintest line, and it's like, like you can't really see it, but it's there, then I know I'm not, I guess. Or I'll just test tomorrow with a yes or no, or later tonight or something. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Okay. Here we go. It's been three minutes. What do you guys think? Do you guys see anything? Oh my god. This is not the faint. This is not the fake one. Like this is not the evap or like the the the, the false positive. Like this is the real.
I've seen so many, so many freaking evaps and false positive. I swear, this is it. Like, it's really dark. Like, I'm not even squinting. Nervous. What if it's not? What if it's not? What if it's not? And my heart is gonna be crushed. Okay, I'll just I'll come back. <laughs> Are you guys? Oh my God! You're gonna be my sister again. <laughs> put it right in front of our Pac-Man um, game because we've been challenging each other like every single day and I won today and I'm going to tell him to um, to play the game and then he'll see this <laughs> so he did Dad. Hi, Dad. Daddy go look at my score Dad you should see your score it's so big <laughs> I don't think you can beat it anymore, Dad. Dad, her score starts with a nine. <laughs> don't tell Dad. <laughs> don't tell him. It starts with a nine. <laughs> wow. Are you really? Dad, look at the test. <laughs> I told you, you didn't see the faint line. That looks nice. <laughs> I thought you were covering this. I can't see. Is it two? <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah, it came up. In a minute, last night. Oh I, my God! Congratulations! And I didn't, um, I didn't believe it because Will said I was crazy yesterday because the cheapies, you can't see anything, and you really can't. I just see a shadow. Did you, know? Did you take a lot of the only? Only Auntie G. Only Auntie G will know because if I lose the baby, then I don't want everybody to know. It's it's there. It's clean. I, I heard. And a then scream. I went back at 11 p.m. I mean 10 at Walmart. Oh my God! And it's Congratulations. it's plus. So happy for you! I'm really, 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 
really, really hope it's like it's gonna be a healthy pregnancy. I hope it's and I'll six. pray every night for you. Are you at work? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to call me like usually when I'm working. I wanted I you I was gonna be working this Sunday. I'm sorry. I wanted to tell Will for his Christmas gift, but the girls wanted to tell him already. I'll send you a video. He didn't even get it. It was so annoying. Okay. I love you, bye. Okay, You're the only one that knows. Oh, only you. Okay. You're not going to tell your mom or anything? No, because I, I know myself. I, I don't get a good pregnancy until three months later. I lose the baby at two, two months or three, two and a half. Okay. No, no, no. Let's try to be positive. <laughs> Okay, love you. Love you. Go back to work. Sorry. Okay, love you. <laughs> love you. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey guys. You guys see that? It's the 8th of December. And I'm 16 DPO today. I just got my blood work done because Because um, last night the first response was light, lighter than yes, the day before, and then today it was there just because my first mor it was my first morning urine, and then now that we came to now that I came here because I was spotting this morning, I mean in the afternoon, it's um, it was there was a light. After three minutes, it was light. I don't even know what I'm saying. But I just came from the doctors. I took a test. It was negative. They said because their test isn't as good as first response. It's, it's one of those cheap ones, right? But the thing is, they took my blood work just because they want to see the HCG, if it's still high, um, so they can monitor if I still have the baby in there. <sighs> we'll see you guys. Anyways, that's another chemical this month, I guess. There's always another month. Um, so that's, I guess that's it. <laughs> It's the 15th of December, and um, before I throw all these away and move on to a new cycle, I just wanted to share the progression line. Um, so here it is. This is when I saw a shadow, an 11, and no one would believe me. So... Um, the next day, which was 12 DPO, uh, we all went to the Winter Wonderland and then um, came home and I took a test and I still see a shadow. It's really hard to see in camera, but there's shadows that no one could see. And um, I was really sad about it because I'm like, I know I see it, but no one can see it. Uh, but yeah, so like I bought these and I don't trust these, but because a lot of people do, you know, so I gave it another chance. Um, and yeah, lines came up in a minute or two. Um, and then I went back to Walmart that night and then line came up again. So then the next day, um, I wanted to try something different just because I had really bad experience with these. Um, by the way, I don't recommend these because it's really hard to see the lines. Um, and yeah, so I was really happy. Still there. And then 14 DPO was lighter than this. And I was really sad, so I threw it away. And then the next day, it's still there. And that night, I was very concerned and cramping. And I'm like, something's going on. And I knew in my heart that I was going to lose it. Um because it should get darker and yeah and then I took a, a different brand 
which is this one, and there was barely anything in there. I mean, it's there, but barely. And then the next day, which is the morning urine. Um, yep, there is still a line, but very faint. Um, just because it's morning urine, I guess it's stronger than the night before. Because if you look at this, these two, it's there, but it's so faint. And then this one, it you don't have to squint to see it. So that happened, and, um, um, you know, I told Will, of course, he, he's very supportive. We've been through this a lot of times before conceiving Abigail, and, you know, he's always so supportive, and he understands, like, um, I mean, back then it was worse. I was, like, two months pregnant back then, or sometimes three, and we would have a miscarriage, so... He understands. Um, our oldest daughter, I told her, and she's very supportive. You know, she hugged me and kissed me, and she's like, Mom, you know, Carly's like, it probably wasn't meant to be this time, Mom. You know, maybe next time, you know. She's so mature. She's 14. I just can't believe how fast she's grown. I love my babies. Um, um, but Abigail, she was taking it pretty hard. She's, like, questioning me so much, like, why, how? How did this happen? Um, but she's fine. Um, she got over it like the next day, you know. There's times that she stares at me and stuff and like, is it really gone, you know? But she's fine now and I told her that, you know, God has plans and stuff. My cousin told me that too. My cousin G, my best friend, she's like, yeah. You know, it wasn't time. And I love that, you know, my kids, understands and stuff and then my family they very supportive and they know how my body is so just like when I told the girls that night I said hey we can't be too excited about it actually because why is why are there flies it's super cold that's so weird um anyways and I told them try not to be so excited about it just because I know my body and stuff so and that's why I didn't really tell everybody um but yeah, and that happened, and you know, God has plans, and it wasn't my time, so hopefully this time it'll work, um, my puppies, anyways, I gotta go, um, thank you for everything, and for your support, and that, you know, if you're going through a chemical, you're not alone, and everybody, a lot of women goes through it. It's not the end, you know, we can keep trying, never give up. And if you have any questions, just comment below. Um, I'll probably do a next video of my symptoms when I conceived and when I um, is scary. Because I feel like a lot of people are making videos about that and because like you know you would want to know right like i know you wouldn't want to stress about it but it's like what's the feeling you know what is the symptoms right and i know that everybody's different but i feel like i want to share my my chemical this time because i really did i knew i was pregnant and but i and i had a feeling that i was gonna i didn't have a feeling but because there were so many symptoms that wasn't normal for me from when I conceived um, Carly Rose and Abigail and all the miscarriages I have, it was so similar from when I was gonna have miscarriages. So I feel like I wanna make that video of my symptoms be before I conceived and while I was pregnant and then when I was about to miscarry. So maybe that'll be my next video, I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Have a good day, have a good Christmas. New Year's, <laughs> thank you, bye. <laughs>